Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Jess. So today in this video, we're going to go over the implementation of pre-order traversal on binary tree. If you want a quick recap on how pre-order traversal works on a binary tree, I've made a quick video on those. So feel free to click into that video. I will link it in the top right corner. So without further ado, let's get started. This question statement is very simple. You're given the root of a binary tree, and you're asked to return the pre-order traversal of its node's value. And from the question statement right here, we can see that it's asking us to return a list of integers. So we're going to return a list of all the values in this tree based on this pre-order traversal order. So first thing first, we need to check whether the given root node is valid. So if not root, meaning if it's null, then we just simply return an empty list. And then if it's not null, meaning this is a valid binary tree, we're going to create our result list. So equal to an empty list. And then for this implementation, I'm going to do it in the recursive way. So now let's first implement this recursion, recursive method. Let's call it helper. And it takes in a self and then a root node. First thing, we need to check if the current root node is valid. So if it is valid, what we need to do is to, since we're returning the list of all the nodes value, so right here we're going to append the current root node's value into the result list. We get this part from the predefined tree node definition that's given on top of the question. So we know that it has this dot value property and it contains the value of the node. So after we've append we've appended this value into the result list, what we need to do is to recursively call this helper function with its left child and its right child. So we call self dot helper root dot left, also getting this property from the definition on top. Self dot helper root dot right. So we know for pre-order traversal or for any traversal of DFS, we're always going from a left to right. So that's why we're calling dot left before dot right. And then let's go back to the original function, the base function. So we're going to call this helper function, passing in our root. And once the helper function have traversed through the whole tree, our result list should contain the pre-order traversal of the values of each node in the tree. So we're just going to return self.result. All right, so that concludes the implementation for the pre-order traversal on a binary tree. And now let's take a look at the runtime and the space complexity. For the runtime, since we're going through or traversing the whole tree, and we're going to visit each node once. So the runtime is just going to be big O of n, n being the number of nodes in the tree. For space complexity, in the worst case scenario, if we have a binary tree that shapes like a length list, meaning that each node will have a left child and just going along, say if we have n nodes in this tree, then in our recursion function, 
the stack will have at most n levels. That case, space complexity will be big O of n, n being the number of nodes. All right, so that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give this a video a thumb up if you found this video helpful and feel free to leave any comments in the comment section. I will see you in my next video. Bye.